Hello! In this video, we are going to prove the following here. Suppose n is a positive integer. If n is greater than 1, then the nth root of n is irrational. Now, in proving this theorem, we are going to use three preliminary results. Here's the first one. Suppose a and n are positive integers. Then either the nth root of a is a positive integer, or the nth root of a is irrational. Okay, now here's the second preliminary result. For all positive integers n, 2 to the power of n is greater than n. Now here's the third preliminary result. Suppose a and b are positive real numbers, and n is a positive integer. If a to the power of n is greater than b to the power of n, then a is greater than b. Okay, now I'll leave proofs of these three results in the description below. So now, let's get into proving this theorem. To start out the proof, let's give ourselves a positive integer n. And from here, we want to prove if this is true, then this is true. And to prove this, we're actually going to prove the contrapositive. That is, we're going to prove if this is false, then this is false. In other words, we're going to prove if the nth root of n is rational, then n is not greater than 1. So let's assume that the nth root of n is rational. By fact number 1, we know that either the nth root of n is a positive integer or the nth root of n is irrational. Now in this case, the nth root of n is rational, so we must have the nth root of n is a positive integer. And we'll say that the nth root of n is equal to the positive integer p. Now, if we take this equation and raise both sides to the power of n, we get that n is equal to p to the power of n. Now, by fact number 2, we know that 2 to the power of n is greater than n. So, 2 to the power of n is greater than p to the power of n. And now, we can apply fact number 3. We're taking capital A to be 2, capital B to be P, and capital N to be N. Well, we see that capital A to the power of capital N is greater than capital B to the power of capital N. Therefore, capital A is greater than capital B. In other words, P is less than 2. And since P is a positive integer, we know that the only positive integer less than 2 is 1. So P is equal to 1. And then, since n is equal to p to the n, we substitute p for 1, and we get that n is equal to 1 to the power of n. And 1 to the power of n is equal to 1. So, n is equal to 1, which tells us n is not greater than 1. Therefore, we have shown if this is false, then this is false. By the contrapositive, if this is true, then this is true. So this completes the proof. And so yeah, that's pretty much it for this video.